And with AI exploding in different forms, sometime last year, Nerf became a buzzword that loads of people used in describing 2D to 3D scene building. Nerf, which simply means Neural Radiance Field, is a technique that enables the reconstruction of 3D scenes from a handful of 2D images. This shouldn't be confused for Gaussian Splat, as Nerf is a quick and easy technique used in the recreation of 3D scenes almost instantly. Used in various fields and explored by various research teams, Nerf is looking awesome. And with the advancement of Nerf, this brought us even closer to all of the capabilities that AI can now bring to the table. For the first time, we could see through the lens of various images and reconstruct 3D models by simply using a collage of 2D images. These models can be brought into any 3D tool of choice and they can be relate anyhow you want as this simply gave us 3d models that we can work with and you can choose to mesh them in any way possible simply creating 3d meshes which can be used in various forms by just simply converting a bunch of 2d images into 3d models and yes we've seen a couple of ai tools make their entrances over time it is quite impressive to see where ai is right now as we've moved over from creating images all the way to using ai to create sound rosie had shiny wings that sparkled like the stars in the sky and even making videos and one thing which i've always wanted to see is a full implementation of using ai tools including prompt to just create 3d models especially landscape model for games as we've actually seen a few papers in this regard and at the same time we've seen a couple of interesting research implementation which are not yet completely public and that seems to be something that the folks at Blockade AI are looking at creating. Meanwhile, before we talk about the cool thing that is coming over to the folks at Blockade AI, it is quite impressive to know that there's an update that they have. So if you go over to Blockade AI right now, you can easily write up a prompt and select the style that you want and generate a simple HDRI, which is a 360 image. That aside, you can also remix the ones you've saved before. So just in case you've also saved a particular HDRI or maybe a blockade image, which you kind of like, you can always remix that and get some very interesting stuff. The folks at Blockade AI has given a lot of tools to people working with this as this is currently in its beta. So one of the tools that you can work with includes drafting up your words by simply using AI and you can choose to use the painting feature to paint out your world the way you want them to be. And it is quite impressive how this actually works. With that said, they just recently announced something on their Twitter page. And this reads, we had an AI breakthrough with auto nerf 2D 360 images generated with Skybox AI into 3D explorable worlds to include free roaming and dynamic lighting. Think about all of the possibilities. Hello, game devs. The fact that you can now create 360 images and make them nerfs is just quite impressive. At this point, you can now throw in 3D elements around your scene and get some interesting dynamic lighting. The video which of course we'll take a look at is an R&D preview of a synthetic nerf which was automatically generated from the Skybox AI and they're of course building a no-code based creator workflow that leverages of generative AI for scalable 3D content with an intuitive web-based editor that is computationally lightweight and portable. This shouldn't come as a surprise because they've already worked with the folks at Illumini Works before and we've covered this one on the channel and for those who like to see that one I'm going to link that in the description and if you take a closer look at what we have here you can see that the whole 360 sky is being powered by blockade labs and the beautiful thing with this one is if you load up a simple scene like this you can start walking around it so in this case we can have our character and we can have this character go around this entire scene we can also make the character run we can make it jump we can do all of that stuff the fact that you can just simply enter a prompt and you generate something like this is so nice and with the idea of them converting all of the 360 skyboxes that you can generate now to nerf just simply makes it solid because at this point you can bring in any of this into your game engine or into your animation pipelines and you can convert them to meshes which of course you'll be able to light them however you want the only problem which we did mention in the previous video where we talked about how this actually works is the fact that this is currently low poly but think about all of the possibility that this brings to the table. Now the folks at Blockade Labs have not mentioned anything about when this is going to be available for everyone to work with, but if we take an idea from what we have with their integration with the folks at Illumini Works, this might be available for download as either FBX, GLB, or potentially USD file. And this might just be the next method which game creators or even animators would use to create their landscape or probably kitbash landscape ideas and get them to life. So this is it. 
the 360 to nerf is coming from the folks at Blockade Labs and for those who are thinking about exploring this or probably you would like to take a look at the Illumini works and see some of the cool things that you can now explore for yourself. Links to all of this is going to be in the description so do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until I see you guys in the next one. Peace.